I can add decimals to the hundreds. First, let's review place value. So in place value, you have your ones, your tens, your hundreds, your thousands, your ten thousands, and your hundred thousands, but you also have the decimal point. And then to the right of your decimal point, you have your tenths and hundredths. The biggest difference here is you have these T8s. And that just kind of, it sounds like fractions, tenths, hundredths. It's because it's very similar. They are, they are similar to fractions. This number would be red, 672,168 and 52 hundredths. If it just had the five, it would be red, 672,168 and five tenths. Decimals to the hundredths are a lot like money. So you have a dollar ninety-nine or one and ninety-nine hundredths. And if you had another penny, you'd have a hundred hundredths, which equals one whole, because then you'd have another whole dollar. Or a hundred pennies that equals one dollar. So they're very similar in that aspect. I mean that's why money is written in decimal format, because the pennies are like hundredths. One hundredths in the fraction format would equal zero and one hundredth or zero point zero one is how you would write that. Let's talk about adding decimals. There's three steps. The first step, you line up your decimal point. That's going to help you line up your place value, just like you do when you normally are adding numbers. You line up place values. To do that, we line up our decimal points. Then you start with the lowest place value, the one all the way to the right. Finally, you add. So here's an example. You have 1 and 72 hundredths plus 5 and 14 hundredths. Notice my decimal points are lined up, so my tenths, my hundredths, and my ones place are all lined up. 2 plus 4 is 6, 7 plus 1 is 8, my decimal point comes straight down, 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 and 80, 6 hundredths would be my sum. Now this one is written horizontally, so the first thing you want to do is write it vertically and line up your decimal points. So I'll put a decimal point here, 3 and 56 hundredths, put my decimal point there, 4 and 78 hundredths add them together. Remember the order doesn't matter addition, so I could have written this the other way. 6 plus 8 is 14. I put down the 4, I regroup, carry. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 7 is 13. Again, I can still carry it because I have 13 tenths. That equals 1, 1, and 3 tenths left over. You can bring down your decimal point now. That comes straight down. 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 4 more is 8. 8 and 34 hundredths. Here's a little bit of a tricky example. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have five digits in each number, but my decimal points don't line up evenly. I'm going to show you how to set this one up and add it. So first, we're going to write, the, we're going to write our decimal point. 1, 0, 9, 8, 7. 7,890, and this is actually 1 tenth is the way it's written. Plus, line up my decimal point again. This time I have a 7 in the tenths and a 2 in the hundredths. One, two, three. So 321 and 72 hundredths. What you need to know is that decimals are kind of like socks. People wear pants over their socks. You can't always see them. So sometimes you can't always see all the decimals. Sometimes they can see a little bit of it. Sometimes you can see a lot. You know, like right now, you can see a little bit of my sock. Or I can pull up and see a lot. However you want to think about that. But you can keep adding on here. All it is is just zeros. I could keep going. So I know that there's a zero there or nothing. And that's going to help me when I add, because I start all the way to the right, and I still have to add the hundredths. Zero plus two, well, that's two. One plus seven, that's eight. Bring down my decimal point. Zero plus one is one. Nine plus two, 11. Regroup. One plus eight is nine. Plus three, 12. Regroup. One plus seven, eight. 8,211 and 82 hundredths. I can add decimals to the nearest hundredth. Here's a little bit of a challenge for you. Take this vertically written addition problem, line up your decimal place, add. 